Hello, welcome to Mondays with Mira and today we've got a lovely non-fiction book and it's by my good friend Patricia Newman and I'm delighted to say that she um, is also going to be one of the featured contributors in the Picture Book Academy's writing course, the craft and business of writing children's picture books. So after that short little advertisement there, I'm going to show you this book. So here we go, the end sheets. Remember we've learned in previous videos how the end sheets hold the book together. And the end sheets have been printed here so that the half title or page one looks like a full title. And then it just goes right into pages two and three which in this book is where the book begins, the story begins. And they've also used the end sheets on the back to print on so they can include more information. Because with a, a non-fiction book, it usually has a lot of information. So Patty's done a really terrific job of taking this non-fiction material about what happens on a flight deck and in the plane and crafting it into an entertaining book. So here we start off with our two main characters. Welcome aboard Nugget. I'm Lieutenant Jake Gutman, but you can call me Guts. I'll bet you've never been aboard a carrier before. We call her Mother because she's our home. Our own floating city with everything from a barber shop to a television station on board. Let's check out my bird in the hangar. So if you can see, what she's done is she's made, um, or the designer has bolded, she probably did it, bolded the words, the vernacular or lingo, that she then has this bar across the bottom that explains what all this vernacular language means and it's really charming. Nugget, a new aviator on his first tour of duty. Mother, a pilot's home ship. Bird, an aircraft. The bird in this book is based on the FA-18F. Hangar, a garage or garage. What do Americans say? Garage. A garage for aircraft which is three decks high. Wow. And so it goes through with this really charming, engaging vernacular language that we learn about as we go through the book. And so initially it just introduces us to all the different terminology and it continues to throughout the book. But we also go on an adventure with Nugget and Guts. The names Guts and Nugget are kind of comical. They're fun. And they also sound good coming out of your mouth. Guts. Nugget. Welcome to the basement. There's my bird. Isn't she a beauty? She looks even better with her wings unfolded. Space is tight, even for aircraft. First put on a zoom bag. Next you'll need speed jeans to keep you from fainting when we're pulling G's in a high climb or a nosedive. The survival vest goes on top. It has your life preserver and flares and radio in case we have to punch out. But don't worry, safety's first with us pilots. I promise to bring you home in one piece. And so you can almost hear Gut saying this, you know, you can visualize him in the uh, really nice oil pastel drawings or art. So we keep going on. Keep your head on a swivel and you won't get hurt. Well, even though it tells us what a swivel is, we can kind of figure that out. So, pretty much be on the lookout, turning your head around all, all the time. More delightful art. And you can see that young boys would absolutely love this. And, you know, and tomboy girls too. I hate to do the gender divisions, but they do, they do often apply. They tell us about the different colour jackets that they wear on, wear on the deck and the different roles that each of them plays. And the other thing that I really like about the language of this is the, how sort of brisk it is, that it really encourages us to read it at a fast clip. We're going to full power. Feel the aircraft hunker down as the catapult pulls us back. Just hold your breath down the cat stroke. I'll do the rest. There's the final ready. 
Yeehaw! Zero to 100 miles per hour in three seconds. We're spooled up now. Then we get more lingo about getting gas on the tanker and getting ready um, to practice in the dogfight. All sorts of goodness that you'll just have to buy the book to find out because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, here's a nice bit too. Lots of nice bits. A dogfight is a test of wits now that pilots need to make split-second decisions and our moves have to be perfect. And practice makes perfect, right? I've never lost a dogfight yet, and you're going to help me win now. Bogey at 4 o'clock. He's really my pal Mookie, but he'll be our opponent today. We'll let him get a little closer and then break right. He'll turn with us, but he's going so fast, he'll fly right by. And then we have this gripping dogfight. Now we're on the attack. Mookie's giving us the old scissors move, trying to get behind us. Check six for me, Nugget. Watch six. We'll slow down and pull up hard into a high yo-yo. -yo. Hold on to your stomach. When Mookie flies by, we'll drop down behind him. He's in our sights now, and he knows it. Dog fight over. Give him a wave to thank him for the practice. And so it goes. Time to bingo, Mom. We've got just enough fuel left. How about buzzing the tower to celebrate our victory? Give them the thumbs up, Nugget. We're number one. And so they go back onto the flight carrier. And then they touch down where they want their tail hook to grab an arresting wire. And it describes what that wire is and how it works. And then it ends. Hear that bravo Zulu nugget? That's for you. Pados gave us top marks for our landing. From now on, you're kid bravo around here. And bravo Zulu, it tells us over here, means praise for a job well done. And Pados is the landing signal officer who helps pilots land on deck and grades their performance. Woo! Makes me want to be a pilot. And then she includes all these really interesting facts, as if we don't have enough interesting facts. Um, but these are carrier facts, a rainbow of jobs and the different kinds of uh, jackets that they wear and why, uh, and how they're color-coded. The aviator's alphabet, so that's how they say, copy, alpha, Bravo, Charlie, or whatever it is that they're copying when they talk. And then here, the author salutes. And it's just really such a lovely, lovely, um, it's such a lovely, lovely dedication. Where she thanks her father, who was a former Marine, who won the, uh, the Purple Heart, and men and women like him, who defend and protect the United States. And my mother and spouses like her on the home front. So that's just a beautiful acknowledgement. And then she thanks all the people that helped her with her research and her critique group and all sorts of stuff. And she gives a lot of the sources where she did her research. And the illustrator does the same thing. So this book, it just, um, it's just lovely. It's a really lovely book. It also talks about practice which is really important in schools for kids to get a, for teachers to get across to kids the importance of practice making perfect to do it over and over and over and you better believe that she redid this book many 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 times to get it to be what it is right now and so if you've got a little boy in your life somewhere or a butch little girl or even just a femme little girl that's interested in being a pilot one day this is a great book for them. So I hope you enjoyed Nugget on the Flight Deck. I want to thank Patty, Patricia M. Newman for her writing. Aaron Zenz for his illustration. And I believe it's Walker Books for publishing it. Thank you and thank you for watching today. Bye. <music>